My name is Julie Boyd and this is a tutorial on the things that you need to do when starting to sew an e-textile circuit. First of all you need to think about how much thread you're going to put into your needle. Um, conductive thread is very silky and does tend to get knotted quite easily. Uh, so working with up to about 50 centimetres or so of thread is about the best length that you want to work with. It becomes much more difficult to work with if you have thread that's any longer. When you thread your needle, I would also have your thread um, going so that you have um, a single end, a short end um, and a longer end, um, as opposed to having your thread sitting double like that. You could do it like that, but again it can make things more difficult and things getting more tangled. That also means that as you stitch you need to keep continuously pulling your thread so you've continuously got one long and one short end. It's up to you whether you put a knot in the end of your thread here. Um, I tend to, um, although on most other textiles work um, I wouldn't do that because um, often a knot gets in the way of the work that you're doing um, and it can make your work look quite messy. Um, however on um, conductive thread because it's quite uh, silky and quite difficult to work with not using one can make things more difficult. If you do decide to use a knot, it's quite important to uh, make sure that we get rid of this tail um, that's beyond the knot. Um, so I'm just going to cut this off with my scissors. Um, and it's very important as well to cut very close to the end of your knot and to take this tail away um, and to throw it away. So not to leave it on your work surface um, because that um, tail of thread can short the end of the circuit out. If you don't want a knot in your fabric, the alternative is to um, take your needle into the fabric and whether you go through to the back or not is up to you, depending on whether you want this stitch to be visible on the back um, and how thick your fabric is and whether it would allow you to do that anyway. So taking the, um, the thread through the fabric um, and leaving as short an end as possible and then going into the same spot over and over again. So two or three times just to make it, it nice and secure. This method is as secure as doing a knot, um, but it can be more difficult to do if you're not very experienced, um, particularly if you find it quite difficult to um, hold the needle and thread. Um, you may find that thread keeps popping out of this section just here. What you can do is leave the tail end of thread a little bit longer um, and then cut that off when you've done your starting stitch. With either of the methods of starting your stitches, you may find that because the thread is quite silky and with the action of um, wearing or using a product, um, that that will make some of your ends come slightly undone. So you can use something like um, clear nail varnish um, or um, there's a product um, called Fray Stop um, which acts in a similar way. And just dabbing a little bit onto the top um, of your starting point um, can help it stop the, uh, the, the thread from coming undone. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive new tutorials as they are uploaded. Visit the website julieboyd.co.uk for all things D&T, especially textiles, and that includes free resources, a weekly D&T newsletter and course information.